Hi there and welcome to the video. Welcome back to my office. If you are a regular here, if you're new, welcome. My name is Nick and I am a reseller. I buy stuff and I sell it on the internet. That's how I earn my living. And for this video, I'm going to do something a little bit different. Now it may look like I've got an awful lot of stock here, but stock is actually, compared to the normal levels, it's actually starting to feel like I'm slowly getting to the end of my backlog, believe it or not. Um, and a lot of what we see in here is already dealt with, is already listed. So I thought for this video, because I'm gonna try and push to clear more of the backlog, make a lot more space in here because I want to bring the next batch of stock down from the loft. I thought for this video, we would go through and actually see what I've got left in here to list and pick out 10 items that I'm going to get listed today. Um, so it will be useful for me to actually make myself look at this stuff and examine it and see what I've got. And it might be interesting for you to actually see what, what I do have lurking on these shelves that sat there for ages. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to look through the stock I've got in my office here and pick out 10 items that I'm going to try and get listed today. Before we start, um, just had a really nice order in. Um, this is one of the car parts and I've had this listed for ages. It's actually two of these support arms. I think it's part of a, sus a suspension system. Um, there's a pair of them in there and they've gone for £50. I do actually have another set under here. Um, but yeah, so that was a nice little order that came in. So if I start here, underneath the desk there is a lot of stock. This is car parts stacked up here. Uh, that's all listed and then the rest is just cardboard. In this corner we have some stuff that really needs dealing with. Um, that is just a pain in the neck to check. There's so many parts in it. That's missing instructions but I just need to get it listed. I actually have three of these. There's another one in the racks. Um, it's another one that's a right pain to check the parts. But with three, I should have hopefully at least two complete ones. I've then got two of these Mario Kart um, Scalextric sets, um, a kind of Junior Scalextric, and three Hot Wheels sets. So, hmm, don't think I'm going to go for any of those to list today. This entire bay behind here is all cubes. Um, we've actually sold about a fifth of everything so far, but I do have an awful lot left. So all of that is listed. Um, this bay, it's looking quite sparse, but this is all car parts. And then when you get down here, we have the shoes that I pulled down from the loft last week. I haven't tackled any of those yet. Down here, this has been sat here for so long. There's a glass Kenwood jug and a Kenwood mixer. I assume this fits. Let's have a look. Yeah. So, yeah, there's that. I don't know, do I want to tackle that? I shouldn't really be selecting. I should just be... <laughs> Pulling out anything really. Um, these are the super soakers that still need a test. Um, okay, let's make that number one. So that's going to be because that's going to be a job lot. That's item number one. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, now these these are blank or empty Nintendo DS cases that used to sit with all of my spare cases for media but I was finding I was using so few and I'd built up loads, um, I decided to just job lot them and get rid. So I'll tell you what, let's, let's do that today as well. So let's make that item number two. I'm gonna do a job lot of those. I may break it into two job lots, we'll see. We'll take a look at completed. Uh, we have a wireless intercom that's going to need testing these are all ink pads um, 
yeah, let's get those on as well. I don't know whether I'll do one job lock, whoa, or several, but there must be 30 or 40 in there. Okay, so that. So there you go, that's three lots already. Um, okay, so that's that bay. This is just my box of leads for testing consoles and stuff. And that's my toolbox. Over here, we have spare CD cases, um, spare Wii cases, and other media spare cases. And basically the whole of the bottom there. These are more of the shoes that I bought down from the loft last week. Haven't dealt with any of those. This is a bundle of vinyl I got at a jumble sale. Just needs going through and cherry picking and then listing as a job lot. These are all incomplete for spares really. That is um, broken but it has a really nice box. That's missing parts, probably just needs getting rid of. This is for spares. That's for spares. Just takes up a lot of space. I may get, yeah, I may make some decisions on those and get rid of some of these. Because I have a load more here, which is all the same story. Um, but it's taking up too much space. This is just stuff I've been buying recently. It's all Depeche Mode. Um, and Erasure. And Pet Shop Boy stuff, none of that's for sale. Um, more shoes that need dealing with. Okay, up here we have. Oh, yeah, these are um, tin openers, brand new tin openers. That is another breast pump, but it's incomplete. Um, so, really, that needs. Sorting out, probably breaking down for spares. Uh, we have a box full of dress patterns that I picked up at a jumble sale. Just haven't done anything with. Do I want to tackle those? Not really. <laughs> um, oh, this, I was talking about this in our Sunday Live. Let's do that. Let's get that listed. It's. Um, like a kind of documents briefcase thing. Really nice thing. Yeah, we'll get that listed. So that's one, two, three, that's four. I do need to hoover in here. I'm gonna make myself hoover before I start this thing as well. I've got the hoover here. Um, but yeah, the floor is filthy. Okay. Um, we have this spaghetti jar. That's. That's actually my fan, I use that in the office. Uh, vintage Kenwood Chef. Now that I have just put off listing for so long. Should I bite the bullet on that? I don't know. Uh, maybe. Um, that's actually my speaker that goes with this Panasonic. That's my stereo for the office. The other one is up there. Then we have a juicer, another juicer. Oh no, that's a, that's part of a Kenwood. Uh, yeah, another juicer and another juicer. So we've got three juicers. Now they need dealing with, really. Right, let's make myself do one of these. Okay, so that I'm gonna tackle. Um, and that leaves Two more juices set up there. Now this shelf is, apart from this, which is just a camera bag, um, brand new with tags, the rest of it is all RA stock, so it's brand new stock we bought in clearance after Christmas. So we've got Harry Potter bath fizzes, uh, and these are all um, Disney makeup brush set. So we've got Aladdin themed ones. I think we've got, yeah, Snow White. Um, I think these big ones are Aladdin here. Yeah. Now we didn't pay that, we got these at 80% off. Um, I may look into those, see if there's a 
a market for them currently but the idea with those was to put them away till Christmas so I might actually pop those all in the loft if they're not worth listing now and make some space up here so I can bring some stuff down that I do want to get listed right now. Um, here we have my record player in there which is plugged into this. Uh, we have this, now I've never really looked at this. It's absolutely filthy. It's a little coffee maker. Um, okay, I'm not tackling that. Bunch more games that are for spares. So, for example, we've got an atmosphere which is missing bits. Um, there you go, look, missing various parts, four spares but it takes up so much space in here. I may look into, I mean, I've got three guess who's now. Surely I can make one. There's that other one that I was kindly sent recently. Um, some of these I probably just need to get rid of, to be honest. Okay, under here we have an old laptop that used to be Ellen's. Um, we have two Xboxes that need testing and a huge bag of controllers and wires. So that's a job that really needs doing. Uh, we then have a Black & Decker wallpaper stripper, although I think I'm gonna keep that because we actually need to use one. A stack of notebooks, some radios that I did pull out to list um, a few months ago and somehow I let them get back onto the shelf and they are still here. Um, right, shall I, let's tackle, let's tackle one of these. Okay, I'm gonna do that one. It would actually make sense to do all three if I'm gonna do one. No, I'll, I'm gonna stick with one, there we go. So that's one, two, Three, four, five, that's six items. Um, then under here, oh, what's that? That's a roll out of um, Royal Mail 6x4 labels. Let's see if I can launch that into the bin. Nice. Um, right, now we have some scales, some retail scales from like a, a fruit and veg shop or market stall. Um, I seem to remember this had some issues so I need to I need to make some decisions on this whether I'm going to sell it as spares repair or or what. I can't remember what the issue was now. Okay let's let's get that dealt with. So either I'm going to get it listed as work out what the fault is again and get it listed spares repair or just get rid of it um, either way that's going to get listed or dealt with um, okay here now this looks like a yep yeah, this is a um, oh I can't think of the word <laughs> what are they called damn it <laughs> I literally can't think of the word. It's a projector for slides. It's a slide projector. Good Lord. Um, it's got £20 on it. I seem to recall I got this at a jumble sale. I don't think I spent the 20 but it is a good one. Uh, it's worth some good money. Um, should I get that out to list? Uh, maybe we'll see we'll see um, that's gonna need setting up and testing which is a bit of a fiddle okay um, up here we have a Shinon projector uh, it's an 8mm projector cine film and a UMIG one we have some aluminium like camping pots and pans this is all stuff that we use on our quiz channel. It's quiz books and little packs of quiz cards, etc. So they're not for sale. This is, you may remember last year I cleared out all of my Now albums. Well, 
they build up pretty quick. So I do need to see if I can make a big uh, sequential run of these and sell those off again. Not sure I want to tackle that right now. Um, I have no idea what's in here. Okay, so we have, oh, it's got a tag. An England Rugby. Um, yeah, a little waterproof top. That's cool. Okay. We have, oh, I remember these. Uh, this is a bag of, I think they're TM Lewin. Yeah. A bag of TM Lewin brand new tag ties. We have that's a baby monitor, is it? I think. Okay. PlayStation controller. Oh, that's cool. This is a promotional PlayStation cap. That's a nice item. Um. Yeah, it's just a box of junk, really. Christmas troll. Oh, this is an Iron Man shirt. Yeah, okay. I think for now that's going back on the shelf. <laughs> but there's not much in there, let's be honest. There's not a great deal in there. Okay, we have another 8mm projector. This is a Sankyo. Uh, there's a bunch of Mr. Potato Heads in there and one here. This came from the, um, the garage we cleared out with all the car parts, just a leaflet display. Um, there's a BT phone. Rubik's Clocks Puzzle. Um, a load more books. They need listing. Uh, books are going really well at the minute. Let's do another bundle of kids books. Okay, so that's going. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so that's eight things already. Um, Got some Meccano, that'd probably sell quite well right now. This Perfection that needs attention. Um, do I want to deal with that? No. <laughs> this is full of um, filters for cameras. Um, this is all Christmas like ribbons. Ah, blimey. Angel Care. Now I listed a load of these the other week. didn't realise I had another one sat here. And Best of British Logo Game. Scrabbles that are incomplete. Um, oh, this needs listing. Let's get that out of the way. Yes. This is Splish Splash. Vintage game. Yeah, we'll get that checked out and hopefully listed. Um, and it carries on. Ooh, now. Aha, I forgot I had these. I got this box at a car boot sale and it's absolutely full of really nice miniature doll's house furniture. Um, there's actually a doll there as well. Okay, so that there's some money in here. Look at that natural porcelain sink. Okay. Yeah, that's that's a good one. Um Okay, I don't think I'll tackle that now though. If anything, I want to do some, some bulky stuff to make some space. 
Um, so I'll leave that for now. Uh, what's this? Oh, I think this is some taps. Yeah. Okay, this is a set of taps. Um, oh, I've had this for ages. Still cannot be bothered to deal with it. No, that's going back on the shelf. Uh, that's just some wires. Another random box. Okay, so we've got games. Oh, this is a, a glass figure. A clown. Really tall, thin glass clown. Uh, Disney cat. Yeah, okay. Not much in there really. It's just taking up space. Um and then we have Ah oh, Kerrang magazines. Now, okay. See I I looked at these a while back and I was perhaps gonna do them in little bundles of ten. Uh, picked these up at the car boot sale a long time ago. Okay, let's deal with those. Whether I do one big job lot or little bundles, they just need to go. Um, aha, what is left of my Magic the Gathering? And I was also very kindly sent some by Sam Retail and Polly recently, which I need to do a little live stream and go through and have a look what's in those. I haven't actually been through those yet. But these, and there's more in this bottom box, is uh, all of what's left of my Magic the Gathering, which does need dealing with. But I'm not doing it now. Oh. Okay, so we have, this is like the um, big base subwoofer thing that goes with the Sony I bought down from the loft a couple of weeks back. That still needs testing. Uh, we've got an outdoor darts set. Oh now that would probably sell well right now. How many items have I found? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh I've got ten already. Okay we'll call that what I'm going to list today. But that I do need to get on pretty really swift. Everyone's still stuck in lockdown, looking for things to do in the garden. That is ideal. Okay. Um, this is a box of assorted car parts that I have never looked through. This was a return. We had some golf shoes. Um, don't know why it didn't just get relisted needs dealing with. This is another crate absolutely rammed with car parts. I have no idea what is in here. Uh, there are hundreds. It's all small fiddly stuff. I mean right the way down to that is one fuse. You know, is it worth anything? I have no idea. And there are hundreds in there. We have a Kenwood food processor, um, some quite nice speakers here. They're not in the best condition, as you can see. Uh, but they're BMW, B and W, not BMW. Um, and I don't know, they just sit around because I haven't got around to testing them. Uh, yeah. Um, then we've got a box full of Stella Artois glasses and a tripod. We have under here a pressure cooker, a vintage one, and an electric typewriter. Oh, that needs dealing with. Another box of junk. Hold on, what's this? Oh, this is another, yeah, that's a little mixer, a little Kenwood or something in there. And here we have some vintage 
phones, some Monster High dolls. Oh, that really nice phone. I've still got that. I picked this up um, in Walthamstow. We went up to, to London. Yeah. Um, kids' toys. Another phone. Now I did pull these phones out when I did that electronics video and they made it back onto the shelves. That's so annoying. Okay. Um, this is like a, a light box that you can put um, like x-rays on and, and view them and stuff. Interesting item, just needs getting rid of. Microsoft steering wheel. Uh, Bakugan Arena. Some old football cards that really just need getting rid of. Laminating pouches, a box full of Yu-Gi-Oh. That's full. This is... Oh, I remember this. I've had these for years. This is a really heavy box full of these Randy handles. They're high quality precision engineered door handles um, really quite expensive things I bought the whole box off a guy at a car boot sale literally years ago and it's the sort of item that I just I just never get around to dealing with so yeah that's gonna need dealing with soon and it continues this is just um, Pretty much all Harry Potter books and a few other authors that I store and I build up bundles. Got some Converse that needs some attention. Uh, these are actually ours, these Cards Against Humanity. Another 8mm projector. I need to have a day where I just deal with those. Loads more Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Um, another 8mm projector. And then this is my little corner of shame of clothing items. Clothing just gets shoved up there. Most clothing Andrea deals with, but the clothing that I'm dealing with just isn't getting dealt with. <laughs> and we have a stack of bedding here. There's a nice toy story there. Um, but yeah, and some curtains and other stuff. Uh, these are all board game spares, um, and I think this is full of clothing. And then everything else is listed, but there's very, it's very, very thin. Look how empty this is. Normally this is full up. But the stock that I'm listing is selling through really fast at the moment. Normally this is completely full, but I need to get all of this and the rest of the stuff that I showed you that's not listed, listed and over here so I can get in the loft and bring more stuff down. Okay, so there you go. I mean, perhaps I do have a lot of stuff in here, um, but compared to where I'm normally at with it, I don't know, I don't think there's a great deal of a, ba of a backlog there. But the point is, I want to bring down the rest of the car parts from the loft. That's what I'm, I'm trying to make space for. So if I can clear a load of bulk today, do the same um, tomorrow and through the rest of the week, just pick out heavy, bulky stuff that I've been putting off, create a load of space, and then I can get up in the loft, bring down the rest of the car parts, and actually get them listed. So yeah, I've got a lot of work to do. Thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon.